Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for February 24th. Today is the Saturday of the first week of Lent. Let's have that moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you would my disciple be. Deny yourself, the world forsake, and humbly follow after me. Take up your cross, be not ashamed, let not disgrace your spirit fill, for God himself endured to die upon a cross on Calvary's hill. Take up your cross and follow Christ, nor think till death to lay it down for only they who bear the cross may hope to wear the glorious crown God finds me ready to welcome you I go with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your statutes. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are, they are far from your law. But, but you, O Lord, Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that, that you will establish forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword, my hands shall despoil them. When you wind blew, the sea covered them, like clean the sand in the mighty waters. Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you magnificent in holiness? O terrible in renown, workers of wonders. When you stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your mercy you led the people you redeemed. In your strength you guided them to your holy dwelling. 
and you brought them in and planted them in the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. He's strong in his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, my dear friends. We continue our reflection from the first chapter of the prophet Isaiah. God addresses an appeal to man to the prophet Isaiah. There is nothing more astonishing than God appealing to and calling upon men. God says, come now, let us reason together. It is an invitation to a debate, discussion, and to state our case before God. It shows God's fairness. Come now, let us reason together. Also contains an element of challenge. God will allow us to say anything, but then he will answer, and we must answer him. The first principle is the rightness of God's demand on us. God may us and has the right to lay down conditions for us. Is the man and right and good? The second principle is the justice of God's punishment of our failure and sin. God has the right to judge and has told us he will punish sin. The third principle is the grace of God's offer. Though we deserve punishment, God offers forgiveness, justification, renewal, and blessing. God made this offer possible through sending His Son, Jesus Christ. Christ's life, death, and resurrection enable God to forgive and justify us. We cannot meet God's demand on our own. We need God's mercy, grace, and the blood of Christ. To cleanse us. God Himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God Himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who will trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snares. If you want to be 
true children of your heavenly Father, then you must pray for those who persecute you and speak of all kinds of evil against you, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. If you want to be true children of your Heavenly Father, then you must pray for those who persecute you and speak all kinds of evil against you, says the Lord. To make us his new creation, Christ the Lord gave us the waters of rebirth and spread the table of his body and his blood as word. Let us call upon him and say, Lord, renew us in your grace. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, clothe us with compassion, kindness, and humility. Make us want to be patient with everyone. Teach us to be true neighbors to all in troubles and distress. And so imitate you, the good Samaritan. May the Blessed Virgin, your mother, pray for all those who bowed to a life of virginity that they may deepen their dedication to you and to the church. Grant us the gift of your mercy. Forgive our sins and remit their punishment. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, Lord renew us in your grace. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, turn our hearts to you by seeking your kingdom and loving one another. May we become a people who worship you in spirit and truth. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.